Hello, welcome back to 3D Drawing for Model Railway. In this today's lesson, we're going to continue working our way along the details on this side face. Get these last two bearings drawn in here, and if we look at the photographs, we've got some things like there's some boxes and wiring trunk in here. Potentially, we'll get onto doing some of those, but we're definitely going to get these these two bearings. And this looks like a, a motor on the end here, so we'll definitely get these done today and see how much further we can get as we work away along. Okay, so jumping back into Fusion. Okay, we're going to start by drawing the bearing that sits about here. Now on the plan you can see it's got some sort of air tank here. Uh, whereas that's either been removed or the plan's wrong. Um, so all we're going to draw is this bit to start with. So if we remember how we did that on the last time, we'll start with just adding a circle. 0.6 millimeters. That's the diameter of this one, I believe. Inspect that. Great, and 0.7. 0.7. And we can find distance from the midpoint there to there. Five, millimeters. And let's see if we can find this center. Then is if we come back in the sketches history, that one over there. Edit that sketch. We can draw a point in the centre here. Come back down to the sketches. Sketch for so the center points there. If we now come into the sketch, we would just draw this circle. We should then be able to find that point horizontal, vertical, like that. Okay, so now we can extrude this forward 0.2 millimeters and then we'll draw this, this plate here. Create a sketch again on that front surface. Use that offset tool. Don't want chain selection here. Like that. One in five, I think it was. There we go. That's it. <coughs> okay, now we're going to create a rectangle. So this is one point. The midpoint needs to be in line with this. So if we do dimensions, that corner, the midpoint, seven millimeters. So that's going to be centered on that now. And then we do the lines. Tangent position and then find that is 90. And then we'll do the same on the other side. So we'll draw a line from there, find a tangent position, and then define that as 90 again. Okay, so what we'll do then is we can extrude this, make sure we get all these profiles. And we're going to do two way extrusion on this. So the front side is going to come forward 0.1 millimeters. So you cut there. So I wonder what's doing there. Let's try again. Select all the
extrude two sided. Okay. So that's our next bearing drawn on. We'll turn the sketch off. Compare that to the picture. Yeah, I think I'm happy with that one. Okay, so we'll move on to the next one, which is this play up here. So it looks like we've got a triangular backing plate. And then this same profile here. There, and then the motor sticking out the front. Okay. And our triangular backing plate looks like it starts at the top of where this plate comes up. So that's about here. And then it's triangular in shape. I think we're going to want this circle and then a center line coming down to be able to make that triangle. So we'll create a sketch on create a sketch on this one face. Let's draw that circle initially. Get that centered. down, turn that line into a construction line. Next one was a normal line. And how far down does it come? Let's just click on the edge of this box here. across there, if you left with the bottom, maybe a bit bigger. I wonder if that needs to, yeah, that needs to move across slightly. Hmm. It definitely looks flatter. I wonder if the plate comes across slightly in this position at the edge here somewhere. Although we will, what we, yeah, what that's what it would be, what we do around this corner, I think. So if we fill it that, like that, that's better. Yeah, that's much better. So if we extrude this forwards now. Same as that. Same as that. Difference that difference there. Yep, that's my marker. So the next thing is drawing this rectangle shape on here. Okay, so we create a sketch on that plane. Two point rectangle. If we start in the top. Here. I'm not worried about these overlapping the edges here because 
we're going to round the corners off and that will reduce that. Um, back to the sketch. That actually looks can then do come into the angular sketch and then define distance from the line to there it's not the seven millimeters it's going to be the same from the line to the box That box is centered. These were there. From that line to that line. Um, picking up the weird point there. I'll try again. That line to that line. It's not point three millimeters. And we'll define as one. It's not one point one. And then we can fill it off that corner and that corner. I'm reasonably happy with that north point really. We'll select those profiles, we'll extrude them forward. So they've got to come in a two way extrusion again. So that front one. That's the that's that profile there, and then the back one has to match that back profile, make sure it joins. Good, that's what we're after. And then let's go back to the picture. We've got a motor that sits on the front, pretty much taking up the whole height of the bot block. So we can draw a sketch on that front profile. In fact, what we can do, leave that sketch, find this sketch here. So we collect, you see there's already a circle in there. Hold that down, we should be able to find that profile, that one, and these two here. Sorry, I was holding caps there, I need to shift, and then we can extrude that forwards. Quite far out, might be a bit too far actually. It's worth getting a picture. Yeah, they probably only want a millimetre or so on it. And then come back. So we've got 0 0.3 here, so that millimetre is going to work out there. Okay, so we've worked our way up with these four. Have we'll a look at the picture and see where we go next. So, I'm thinking that we'll maybe look at some of these rivets along the bottom here. Now, make sure you don't miss out that this black bit is actually painted. There is still panel lying there. Okay, so let's have a look, see if they're on the plan. They are. 
So what have we got? We've got row of three, two. Okay, so if we create a sketch on the front surface here, I'm thinking we do the three, so then we can drag and diagonal the twos. Yeah, so if we create that sketch, we'll put a three diameter circle, define the height. distance from the head to the corner of the shape. I go with that because that's pretty much in line with where it should be. That's the bit that Alan says. I'm going to extrude this forwards from point five and then fill it off the top corners of point one five. So there's our rivet. So the next thing is to multiply that upwards. So we'll select that features and the direction is upwards. There's a three rivets. Okay, so to what we'll do is we'll do all the, the threes here now from the plan. So we'll do pattern to these. It just checks if they look even spacing. So we've got three, three, three. They do look even. So angular pattern. Select the pattern plus the original features. My direction comes sideways. There's four of them initially. Now we can do the twos. So if we do um, what's the best way going to do this? Draw in one separately, I think would be better. Yeah, draw in one separately. So if we try to sketch it down that front profile. Circle. I'm just trying to find the halfway point there. I think so. Can I draw a straight line? Yeah, that gives me distance, then it's not point seven five. So I can define midpoint to that distance then if I do midpoint there to there nope okay so the next thing is to draw a line but we can find the center point there actually that's it snapped that in line okay so then next Move this forward, not the back line, and fit it off the top. Oh, that's good. That's that's done the wrong extrusion. I believe that that's done. I'll show you. Go back into the sketch. What that's done is this extrusion. It then just extrudes the outside line rather than this whole solid. Fill the top off. Fit that. And then we can do the angular pattern, those features. They need to fit upwards as well. Two of them. Yeah, I think that's going to be 0.75. Pattern that again two more times. So, rectangular pattern those, and direction along the bottom. There we go. So, there we've got some rivets there. Okay, we've got a bit of a jump to the next one. So, we'll do rectangular pattern. It's going to be that pattern plus these two 
the that direction. So only going to be two of them. So they look like they're offset on the scale plan, but in the picture, they're level. An extra rivet there that's not on the plan as well. So this one here is not on the plan, which is fine because what we can it could be on this beam here, and that beam doesn't seem to be there. There's something there, but I can't make out what it is. There's two more rivets there, so what we'll do is. No, that looks no, no, that looks right. This one's the one that's throwing me. They are to be there. Let's have a look. Where else do we go with these rivets? Three, six, six. That's these ones. So we can pattern these across. So if we ignore them ones here we're looking at for the moment, we'll do this here. A rectangular pattern. Those features merge back. Direction that way. We only want two of them. Pattern, that pattern, same direction. Again, only two of them. Like that. And then we can pattern those two patterns in that direction. Again, only two of them. Good. We need to now go out these ones, so those three will be that. Let's look that direction to the bottom. Again, I only want to be two of them. Okay, and then again we pattern that pattern. Save that. Okay, so we'll grab the next one, which is this pattern here. We'll drag that across. Again, we make sure that's two. We don't want them to be there. So that's them two. Then we've got three, two, three, three. So we can do the same thing. We do pattern on those two in this direction. Two of them. That's going to want to be 2.55. Okay, good. All right, where's our three pattern? Pattern, that pattern, direction, there's the two of them to there, that's it. And then same again, pattern, that pattern, that direction. Okay. Any more than these 
needs to go across. No. That's it. Okay, now we've got all these rivets done along the bottom here. We'll do these ones here, and they do look a bit piggledy piggledy, they don't look like they're following a set pattern. So if we look at the images, they, again, they follow the plan. They don't seem to follow a set pattern. So we'll draw those all individually, I think, which won't take too long. So if just create a sketch on this profile. I'm just going to use the circles. I'm just going to knock that three millimetres. It's just a case of defining that position. Extrude them all to more than one five millimeters, and then fill it off. Top edge, more than one five millimeters. There's our roots. Take that. Okay, so if we look at this little group of rivets going on here. Um, they're not actually on the plan, so what we'll do, they look like vertically they're roughly in line with the edge of this one, and horizontally are halfway between these two rivets. So if we create a sketch again here, so I'm roughly vertical with that, and about halfway along there. Okay. Extrude that 0.15 millimeters. Came off the edge, and then we can pattern that feature. So that and that direction. There's two sideways, and there's two vertical. Square. Okay, good. And then there's six over here. Okay, so what we'll do is we pattern those. About some position like four. The other side that might be, yeah. So it's about there. Place it there, and then we can pattern that pattern to make the six of them. Yeah, 
my own button. So looks good. Okay, so you can see how this all starts to add up in time. So about another half an hour's episode done there. And all we've managed to do is draw on these bearings and motors and the rivets down around this side. Um, but yeah, it's starting to take shape and as, as you can see, more and more details being added. Um, so yeah, coming along quite nicely. Hope you enjoyed today's lesson. If you have, please make sure you subscribe and hit the bell notifications to keep notified whenever I upload a new video. Thanks for watching.